Hi, Kadet Raymond here, COO and second in command coach and mentor. Today I want to talk about five realignment strategies that you can immediately implement in your operations to make sure everyone gets back on the same page. I know sometimes things don't go according to plan and things feel very chaotic and overwhelming. So how do you bring everybody back to the one central place where everything can fall back into place and operations can run smoothly again? Well, the first thing is to look at the vision and mission of the company. Are you aligned with that? Are your people aligned with it? Are your operations aligned with it? If you go back to the real vision and mission of the company and look at its details, are you aligned with it? And if you're not, what can you do to immediately start bringing things back towards it? So if you look at the vision, what is the vision of the company? If you don't have it written, if the CEO or business owner has not provided it, maybe it's time to look at it with clear eyes and together look at the vision of the company. And what's the mission of the company? What's the purpose of the work that you do? Is your operation, are your operations aligned with that? So the first step is really looking at the vision and mission of the company and seeing if you're aligned with that. And if you're not, how can you course correct and bring it back in alignment? The second thing are the people. The people are so important in your operations. I know with over 22 years in business, there have been the wrong people in our businesses and our operations. And it's not always easy to say no to them and let them go. So you have to start looking at who is in your operations that are your stars. They're the ones who are showing up. They're the ones who are really bringing the business to that next level and showing up for you and everyone else. And who is not showing up? Who is no longer the right fit? Maybe circumstances have changed and it's time for them to find something else. It's time for them to move on. That's where you have to start looking at your people to see who needs to stay and who might be time for them to go. Otherwise, it might be time for them to change roles as well. Maybe they're just not doing the right job for their skill set. They're not as passionate anymore. Have a conversation with them and see where they're at. And then you can make decisions together. The third one is finances. Are you on budget? Are you on track for the goals for this quarter, for this year? Do you know the finances? Do you know the numbers? With transparency and finances, it certainly helps you in your day-to-day -day operations to make sure everything is going according to that plan. So realigning things to the financial picture of the company and the financial goals of the company is a third way, a third strategy that you can use to immediately implement things to realign yourself in your operations, realign everyone in the operations of the company. The fourth one is you. <laughs> You're at the center of the operations, right? You run it all. Everything's on your shoulders. I get it. But what are you doing to take care of you? What are you doing for your own growth, for supporting you, for your own self-care? You have to look at yourself and make sure that you're being supported too. So if you don't have that support, reach out to me. I have resources for you. One is the COO Alliance. One is my private practice, of course. But there are other options for you in terms of support and resources to help you move yourself forward in your role as second in command. And finally, the culture of your company. What can you do to bring people back together? What can you do? And I'm not talking about team building exercises, just day-to-day -day things that you can do. Can you reach out to somebody and recognize them either privately or in front of the group? I always say recognize publicly, reprimand privately. So what can you do in the group with your teams to say high five to somebody or recognize a few people? Let them know how well they're doing. Let them know how much much they are appreciated. Build a culture, culture of gratitude and appreciation. Let people know that they matter. That is the number one way for you to start realigning the culture in your business. So those are the five tips, strategies for realignment today. One, vision and mission. Look at it. Where are you in it? Can you realign and bring things back to center on that? Two are the people. Do you have the right people in your day-to-day -day operations? Do you have the right people who are there growing and supporting the business? Three is finances. Do you know the numbers? <laughs> are you on track with your numbers? Are you tracking and measuring your numbers? Very, very important. Four, you're at the center of it, so you have to take care of you.
What are you doing for your own self-care, your own growth, and supporting you in your role as COO and second in command? And finally, the culture. How can you create a culture of appreciation and gratitude so that can start the realignment of things in the business? Hope this was helpful. If you have questions, do leave them in the comments. Do reach out to me. I'm here to help. Glad that you are doing what you do. I want you to feel recognized and supported. I see you. I know how hard you work. Thank you for all that you do.